Hello, I'm Mr. Dresden, the director. And I'm Elliot, the producer. And we'd like to take a few moments to outline our vision. Our vision for a different kind of film studio. A brave new world of movies. For years, the box office has been ruled by stars. Who are, of course, just people. People like you and me, with names like Tom, Bruce, Nicole, Samuel L. Russ. Russ? Ul Crow. Ah, yes, the pudgy boy. Ordinary people paid extraordinary sums of money. For what? Acting. Acting. Like, hey, no offense, you're great and everything, but anybody can act. Mm, you're talking to me. Uh, the force is strong with you. Oh, oh, you feel lucky? See? A monkey could do it. <laughs> oh. For us, there is only one hero. This guy. Everybody's got one. Everybody uses one. They changed our lives. Didn't they change our movies? The answer is yes. Yes. Very yes. Yes, 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 yes. I give you. The postman always rings twice, then leaves a voicemail. Get you there. A fistful of free texts. Classic. And Lord of the Ringtones. <gasps> My precious! Oh, that voice disturbs me. I told you that before. Uh, we are the Orange Film Studios. It's showtime! Take off his arm and beat him with it! Rip his throat out! I'm a little tick tock. Here's my handle. Here's my spell. When it's time for TikTok, here he goes. So, lift me up. And pour me out. Everyone's TikTok about TikTok, Britain's favourite Roy Boss tea. When it's time for TikTok, here he goes. Pour me up and lift me up. TikTok, Britain's favourite Roy Boss tea. My name is Dawn Hallibone. I'm a teacher at Oakdale Junior School in Redbridge. I've been a teacher now for 16 years and it's the best job in the world. No day is ever the same. The children are enthusiastic, engaging, want to learn and that's what makes it all worthwhile. The effect it's had on the class has been fantastic. The concentration and engagement and also the effect it's had on me as a teacher because I get infused when I see them learning and talking to them about their learning. And it's fantastic because you've got a common point and they're not used to a teacher, I suppose, being excited about games because that's what they do when they go home. When I brought the box of DSs into the hall the first time, the hall almost erupted. And they're like, we've got our own DS, it's fantastic. Because their view of is we're going to be using it to play all the time. How much time has lapsed? Using games definitely encourages children to learn because they don't realise they're learning. They think they're playing a game. So we're saying two hours and 40 minutes, gone then. We use the DSs for the brain training. It helps them understand maths. We've been using the concert now for three years and the children are completely engaged with it. They said the learning was in their hands, which I really like, and I just thought that sort of summed up the use of the console in the classroom. They feel ownership of their learning, which is a real great motivator for them and teachers. Nintendo DS, Britain's favourite. Nose was about as big as a burger. He's got these white gloves that look kind of showbiz. Really cute. How tall is he? Probably about 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. About our size. He has a moustache. He's a plumber by trade, but he doesn't seem to do a lot of work, does he? He's just fun. Mario! Super Mario Brothers, part of the family since 1985. So guys, let's talk about the film. Tell me first what inspired it. First of all, let me just say, uh, we loved Saving Private Ryan. That is yeah. a great movie. We just it, loved it. It is great and it, it is so powerful. Cool. So I thought, why don't, we just, why don't we just remake the whole thing, you know, and let's do it right this time. And let's make Saving Private Ryan's number. Yeah, so because they, what they didn't do is put his number in their mobile. So they have to go out and find him. It's for you! It's for you! Tell me exactly how this is going to work, that they have mobile phones in World War II. Well, what's not to work about it? I mean, my feeling is this. Um, I know you're asking yourself, like, what, realistically? Is that realistic? Yeah. Is, that, is that historically and, and accurate? Is it accurate? Listen, I don't care. You'll be watching this movie, you'll be reviewing it or whatever, or writing, hmm, blah, 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 blah. You won't care about historical accuracy. <laughs> So how did you make it work with the actors? Because they're trying to be in character, but you've sure. given them something completely yeah. anachronistic. Right. Well, let me tell you, actors are like uh, very small children. 
Uh, I look upon them as my family, and then I also look upon them as slightly stupid pets. Whoa, cut! Cut! Wait a minute! Why are you, you, why are you trying to destroy my movie? I see a piece of clay that I have to mold and then smash. If you bring that back on my side, I'm gonna have you shot. I'm gonna shoot you myself. You sign on to work with me, I'm gonna reach right into your skull, and I'm gonna scramble your eggs. I'm gonna cottage your cheese. This is my rifle, Do say it. it. This, this is, is my rifle. rifle. This, this is, is my phone. phone. This is this for is fighting. fighting. This, this is, is for, for chatting, chatting. Or texting, or messaging. Social okay? messaging, All right, that's great. Everybody's dying! Hey. We also did lose six people during the making of this movie. Yeah, and they gave their lives for the sake of this the film. Vision. And I mean, for I think that anyone would lay down their life for this movie, and honestly. Will, will you dedicate the film to the people you lost? We already have. Yes. Not, not, not actually in the credits or anything, but in my heart I did. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, it's okay. for them. They know that. Ah!